Hi, today we are down at the new facility in Albany, 90 State Street, and we're here with Matt Mazzone. Uh, Matt, we have seen a, a surge of urban weddings. I mean, it seems like, a, a, like everyone wants to go downtown now. Why do you think that is? Yeah, there's definitely been an increase in downtown weddings, and definitely we've seen a huge interest in finding these, these new downtown facilities. Um, I think there's really three reasons why people are looking more to downtown venues and downtown destinations okay. as a wedding place. You okay. know? And I think those three ones are, one, you really can't match the unique spaces that you're getting from a downtown venue. This I mean, is, you, you take a second, yeah. you look around here, you know, you get the pillars, you get the terrazzo floors, you, the you're vaults. seeing the vaults, the yeah. chandeliers that, you know. This space um, is amazing. What, what was this originally? Bronze. This was a, originally a bank. Um, okay. You know, in early 1900s, they built banks a little bit differently. The, uh, <laughs> the character of the bank was defined by, you know, how well it looked, and that would give guess the perception that, hey, you know, if the bank can afford to put bronze on the ceiling, they can afford to keep my deposit. Yeah, whereas um, now you walk into a bank and they're like, wait, you're spending all of my money on this? Yeah, this drop ceiling looks great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, the drop ceiling. So um, the space is amazing. So the first one is first one very I would definitely unique say is spaces. Amazing, unique spaces that, yeah. you know, were built at a time when just, it, it was a different type of, you know, construction. Yeah, and the aesthetics are just amazing. Definitely. You know, the second thing is, I would say there's a huge convenience factor oh, okay. with downtown weddings. Yeah, definitely. Um, that makes sense. Meaning that, you know, when you're getting married, you want your guest, you know, and you're almost trying to make a weekend or an event out of more than just the event. So yeah. um, with downtown, you know, a place like this, you go outside, you know, there's three hotels right around the corner. There's the restaurants, there's the nightlife and the bars for after your event, you know, and there's also Park the convenience once. of the stores and yeah. other things like that. So yeah. you have guests that come into town or your guests that are just coming for the evening. You know, there's so much more around the event center that you can do more with. Excellent. So you have the unique spaces, and then two, you have proximity. You have hotels, restaurants, uh, the venue, all within walking distance yep. for both the wedding party as well as the guests, which is outstanding. And what was the third thing? The third thing is um, just the character of the external environment. Okay. Um, in a downtown Albany setting, you know, you, you see the brides that are taking pictures with the Capitol as the background. Yep. You, you see them on these little cobblestone streets. Um, or just right on State Street. Just right on State Street. Yeah. You know, one of the cool things that we have at another venue at Key Hall is, you know, when they have that Schenectady Parade and you have that as a backdrop, yes. you know, people are buying, looking to that date, you know, for years in the future because it's just so unique and you're not going to get anything like that. But each, each downtown section, whether it's uh, Schenectady or Albany or Saratoga or even Troy, has so much uniqueness. It's not like oh, yeah. every wedding that the photographer is going to have the exact same shots. You can, for Albany, for example, near here, you have um, the, the beautiful uh, gorgeous Roman columns of the uh, State Education Building, and then a block away you've got these cobblestones that look like you could be in New York City. Absolutely. You, you, can no go, you have no idea where you're going, you can get the river, you can get everything. So there's, there's just so much uniqueness, and I think those three things are really what's driving people yeah. to kind of look as downtown as a, as a way to go. So if someone wanted to plan a, a downtown urban wedding, I'm assuming Mizone Hospitality would be able to help them with yeah, that. Yeah, we would love to help them with that. <laughs> I mean, of course. So how, what would be the best, best best way, excuse me, the best, best way, way for somebody to contact you? Know, some you. of the best ways uh, to contact us would be to, to go and take a look at our website at mazonehospitality.com. Okay. Um, they can always feel free to call any of our venues. Um, and, and they can find that information directly they can on find that website. That information right on the website. Um, the other cool thing that a lot of our guests are taking a look at is they love to see the pictures and what's happened at these downtown venues. And they can always look to our blog, um, oh. which has everything sorted by the venue. And nice. you can kind of look at more of the urban weddings and see, you know, what have people done with it? And that's where you really get a lot of ideas. What's the URL for the blog? Um, it's islefilesblog.com. Islefilesblog.com. Um, but you can find it right through any of our websites as Perfect. well. Perfect. Well, Matt, thank you very much. Great. It's, Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's it for uh, this week. Check back soon for some more great tips.